So they say that writing is rewriting, but what does this really mean? I mean, how much time should we spend on a first draft, and then how much time do we spend rewriting? This is a great question, because rewriting is one of the most misunderstood of all of the major writing steps. Partly because of that famous line that you just stated, writing is rewriting. There is no question of that if you want to write a great piece of storytelling, you're going to have to do a lot of rewriting. But that concept that writing is rewriting often makes writers make a huge mistake right at the beginning, which is they think that my first draft, just get it on paper, right? To overcome whatever writing block, just get it down on paper. Don't try to be perfect, right? Because that just will just stop you from writing entirely. Right? Okay, so they get the script down on paper, and then they think, okay, I'll fix any mistakes in the rewrite. Except that they don't fix the mistakes in the rewrite. What people don't realize is that first draft turns into concrete. When you've actually written it out and it's on paper, in many ways, in your mind, it solidifies in such a way that it is then very diff difficult to break that apart and to make the key structural changes that need to be made. This is why, and a lot of writers are shocked when I tell them this, for most scripts, the second draft is worse than the first draft. And it just gets worse from there. And that is because of the approach that they take to the script in the first place. Because when you write that first draft, some fundamental things are going to be embedded in that script. This is why it is so important that writers do a lot of prep work before writing the first draft. Starting all the way back with the premise. I always tell writers it is so important to take a tremendous amount of time exploring your premise line. Taking weeks to look at just one sentence. Right? My, my, my one line, one sentence log line because you can f find a lot of the inherent structural problems in your script that you're going to encounter right there in the first sentence. Now, it, that also means we do a lot of prep work in creating our characters, figuring out our structure, learning the end point of the story before we begin writing, so on and so forth. That doesn't mean that you're going to Again, try to make that first draft perfect. What it does mean is that you're going to be looking at what are the embedded structural problems in this story and try to make the fixes before you actually write the draft. And most of those fixes will occur if you do your prep work, you can get a very good story in the scene list, the scene sequence. Now, this is, in many ways, a lot of time, writers don't realize what an important step this is in the writing process, the scene list, the scene sequence. Because this is the last place before you actually write scenes to see the architecture of your story. For example, I do a lot of story consulting work. And my preference is, don't give me a, f a full script. Give me your scene sequence. I can spot... 90% of your problems and come up with the solutions right from the scene sequence. Because if I see it as a, as a first draft of a script, I've got all that dialogue. I've got a lot of undergrowth that is hiding the bones of the story and is keeping me from seeing what is not working and how it could be fixed. So this is why it's so important to do your craft homework before writing the first draft and in that first draft, it will then make the rewriting process so much simpler. And it will guarantee that your second draft is better than your first draft. One more point about rewriting. Because it is so misunderstood, most writers don't understand that rewriting is a set of tools, just like plot, character, and so on. And one of the key tools about rewriting is the order that you rewrite. 
For example, most writers, the first thing they fix when they're doing a rewrite is the dialogue. It's the last thing you should touch. When I work with a writer on a script, we don't talk about dialogue for the, until the third or fourth draft because it's all about getting the story right. And that's what you want to focus, focus on in your rewriting, or the steps of finding the structural problems. And the first step in finding the structural problems of your script is go back to the desire line of your story. Make sure that you have a good, strong spine, you have a desire line that will track and drive the story from beginning to end. So it's just like building a house. Absolutely.